Aloha and welcome to our video on intrusive igneous activity. In this video we'll describe the major intrusive igneous features and we'll also talk about batholiths. Okay, so when we're talking about intrusive igneous activities, what we're talking about, not the extrusive stuff which we can kind of see here as being these explosions and these volcanoes, but intrusive we call plutons. And we're going to see a bunch of different varieties of those and what they do. And that's what we'll talk about in the next slide. So when we're talking about plutons, we have to talk about several different things. Um, one of them are going to be these sills down here. And sills are where we're going to have this magma come up and it's going to fall in between layers or within the layers of a rock. And it's going to be almost always horizontal with the surface. And it's just this, where this magma will go seep into these little between the layers of the rocks and it'll harden that way. Now, we can have a larger formation, which is this lacolith. And that's going to be kind of a dome, lens-shaped dome of magma that's going to cool under the surface. But as it fills, it's going to cause the surface to kind of up warp a little bit. So it's a big lens-shaped larger structure. We can also have what we call a dike and a dike is different from a sill and a lacolith in the sense that a dike will go across rock layers. So it'll find a crack or it'll find a fault and if it finds this little crack between the layers it'll actually fill that one in and that's how we'll form these dikes there. So in summary a sill is going to form a horizontal band within a layer Lacoliths are going to push overlying layers upwards, and then a dike is going to cut across the rock layers. Now here we can see our plutons again. We have our sill here, and notice that it's in between the layers. We have a dike that's going to cut across the layers, and then we have a lacolith, which is going to kind of bubble up and deform the layers above it. We also have a new term, and that's this batholith here. And batholiths are going to be large. If you notice, sills, dikes, lacoliths, they're not too big in structure, but batholiths are going to be like hundreds of kilometers big, okay, so square kilometers. Now, if the lacolith is forced up to the surface, then we can get erosion and we can get mountains that are going to form from that one, and we'll talk about that a little bit more in the lesson. So our smaller ones are plutons, and those we can see here, and if these plutons lump together, join together, they can form what we call a batholith, and sometimes those will form their way up to the surface. So that's it for our video. As always, good luck on the lesson and good luck on your quiz, and we will see you in the next video.